Hi, today we are having um, a Lao dish called lap tao, but it's made from spinach because we are here in America and this dish is actually, uh, uh, it's supposed to be made out of seaweed. The seaweed, the original uh, dish is made out of, you could only get it in Laos. And it's only, um, they only have it there in the Mekong River. Um, with how the uh, country's going, you know, how they build uh, new dams and stuff like that. Um, we might not have any of that anymore. It, it's just specifically that strand of seaweed that is grown there in the Mekong River and you can't find it anywhere else. Um, <clears throat> there's some Lao people that try to grow it here in America and it's just not the same and it's, it's dangerous and it's not safe to eat <clears throat> because of the differences in the water climate and all that stuff. So my people are very talented and they came up with uh, making it out of spinach. This is all blended spinach mixed with uh, baby eggplants, um, Asian long beans, uh, a, um, Asian eggplants, uh, what else? Asian long beans and a lot of other uh, green goodies. Um, and it also has some um, uh, quote unquote escargot snails, water snails. It's actually good and it has some pepper in here. You see, it's all green. Nothing but yum healthy, yummy goodness. Just a little bit of seasoning. You see, see, there's the snail. These are the tiny little baby eggplants. And a lot of Southeast Asian, they like the little baby eggplants because it's kind of bitter and crunchy and it's really good. <clears throat> and this is uh, the Asian long bean that's cut up. All this green uh, soupy stuff is all spinach. <laughs> it's actually really good. Um, it's a cold uh, dish. And it's kind of soupy, kind of like, um, I don't know. I don't know what that uh, cold Italian soup is called. I forgot, but you could get it at like um, any of those uh, Italian restaurants. Uh, start with the C, I forgot. Yeah, but this is, uh, it's like a cold uh, soupy kind of salad. But if you ever get a chance, if you are ever blessed to ever go back and visit Laos, try it. The seaweed there is full of antioxidants, all that yummy goodness, you know. But uh, let's dig in. Mm-hmm. The baby eggplant gives gives it that little bitterness, and it tastes so good. Compliment it complements this dish really well. Um, this is my second day of eating um the Japanese steam rice. Mm -hmm. mm. See that right there in the front? That's like a full grown um, eggplant that's been thinly sliced, put in here. Yeah. Mm. For a little kick. Mm.
So good. I think I remember it. I think that cold Italian soup dish is called capaccio or something like that with a C. Yeah, capaccio. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows, leave it in the comment below. Mmm, so good. Mmm. That little bite of bitterness and then the hot pepper. Oh, so good. Sometimes, depends on who's making this dish, they like to um, <clears throat> have some like small slices of peppers. So when you bite into it, you get all the effect. It's, and it's like a surprise. It's fun. <laughs> Long bean. Mm. My people are so creative. Like we make do with what we have here, whether here, whether it's here in America, Europe, whatever country they happen to be at, we find resources. Mm. Mm. And I recall having the seaweed um, salad when I was younger, back in Laos. And it is different. Um, the texture of the original, um, of the real seaweed. It's uh, hard to describe, but it's kind of sweet, naturally sweet. And the way they make it back home, it's a little bit spicier than this. <laughs> See that sliver to the um, left of you, which is the right of me? That's the um, escargot, the um, water snail. Now, A lot of the Lao cuisine is non-fattening, you guys. It's not greasy. It's um, especially if you're from the southern area, 
like the South, which is country. There's a lot of like, um, you would say vegetarian or vegan type of uh, cuisines. You guys see that little red speck? Mm -hmm. There's a pepper. The only thing that has to be cooked are the snails. Everything else is just raw. The spinach is not cooked. It's just blended. So good. <clears throat> mm. Almost done with my rice. Mm. I love biting into the little baby eggplant because it's slightly bitter, not too bitter, not overwhelming, but to have that and pepper at the same time and then one whole bite, oh my gosh, the best ever. Well, that's what I prefer, what I like, but it's good. If you have a thing for bitterness, you would love the little baby eggplant. Uh, you would have to um, go to the Asian stores and get it. Especially if you have like a Southeast Asian store that's either... Um, the owners are either Cambodian, Lao, Hmong, you know, Thai, or sometimes Vietnamese. Sometimes Vietnamese people have it. So all of Southeast Asia, that's um, in the gold, Golden Triangle area, which is Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, and then the landlocked part is Laos. We all share um, similar um, seasonings, herbs, vegetables, and stuff, you know, and fruits. Mm -hmm. mm. These long beans are so sweet. They're sweet. It's good. Like sometimes I would have this, the long beans, and the cherry tomatoes, and I'll sit there and just eat it. Like snacks. Yeah. When I'm craving something sweet, if certain fruits are in um, season, 
and that's what I like. I'll get those. Or if I want something, quote unquote, a little bit more heartier, I'll go for the um, cherry tomatoes and, um, I don't know, long beans are considered vegetables or fruits, I don't know, because they have seeds, so I don't know. But, um, or long beans, because certain strands, they're sweet. Oh, um, and the sweet peas, oh my God, those are good. Oh my God, especially when it's in season. I don't know how to describe it, but you got to know how to pick those sweet peas. And, um, rinse, I mean, you wash, you clean them suckers, and have your sweet cherry tomatoes. Oh my God, best ever. Mmm. I hope you guys will try this loud dish if you get a chance. Um, they don't sell at mainstream, in the mainstream um, restaurants and stuff. But you can find a hole in the wall mom and pop store. Or if they do, try it. I mean, I wish I could make it for you guys because I'm very particular. You know what I'm saying? Because this can have a little gamey taste to it if they do not clean the um, the snails, the water snails, the escargot. Good. You will ha you will taste that or the grittiness. You know? This you don't. Because um, y'all know how I feel about that. Yeah. But all this is made out of spinach. Made ingredient is spinach and then you have your other vegetables and herbs sometimes some people blend in with the, um the asian tarragon and um a little bit of the either citrus basil or the um quote unquote the purple one which is a lot of uh, non-asians call um the thai basil but there's another word for it i had a Ask my mom what it's called. Um, yeah, but sometimes when people put um, ginger or galanga, oh, those are so good. It adds an extra kick and bite to it. It's awesome. Um, yeah, baby eggplants, regular eggplants, um, Asian long beans. Anything that's green is going in this dish, <laughs> basically. And the protein of choice here is the escargot. Or you could um, not add that and just have it, just the um, herbs and vegetables. So it's called la tao, but made with an alternative, which is spinach here. But um, yeah. It's just a cold um, herb and vegetable um, style. It's kind of soupy, like your capaccio. Capaccio. Hope I'm saying it right. But um, I hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you guys like this dish for today. I personally like it because it's light, it's healthy, it's good, it's not heavy. <clears throat> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.